In today's video, we're doing the five best basketball drills for beginners. Let's go. So now before we start today's video, I don't want to do a super long intro or anything. I just want to say a few things. The first thing being that these are the five best basketball drills for beginners. But even if you're an advanced player, don't rule this video out because this could help anyone trying to get better at basketball. If LeBron James did these drills, he'd still probably get something out of it. And the second thing is that I'm going to be probably doing more videos like this one, so if you enjoy it, consider subscribing. Now let's go. So the first drill is the mic and drill and the reverse mic and drill. So they're sort of the same thing, so I'm just going to combine them into one. And the mic and drill and reverse mic and drill can help you develop your finishing skills or help you get better at finishing under the rim and just finishing in general. It looks like this. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. With this drill, you want to make sure that you're aiming high off the backboard and you're doing it with proper form. Now, if you want to do this in some kind of workout manner, then you can do this for a minute straight, see how many you get in, and every time you do it again, try and beat that record. Okay, so now we're on to drill number two. And drill number two is form shooting. Now, in basketball, you can be the tallest player, you can be the most athletic player, but if you don't know how to shoot, you're not going to be a good basketball player. And this drill is the first step to getting better at shooting. And even if you're LeBron James, and if he's watching this video and taking notes, he could even get better from this drill. Anybody can. So drill number two, form shooting. It looks like this. drill you want to make sure you're shooting with the right form because if you're shooting with the wrong form you're shooting with a bad shooting form like from your chest or something and you constantly do that in the future it'll be so hard to relearn how to shoot and shoot properly so even if it's kind of difficult to shoot properly the first time if you do it more and more every time you do it it'll get easier until you finally master it Now we're moving into drill number three, which is one dribble layups. Now for a lot of people that play basketball, including me, we have a bad habit where we take too many dribbles driving into the paint. This risks the ball being stolen, and it's just a bad habit in basketball. This drill helps crush that bad habit. So the drill looks like this, where you start at the cone, the cone that I placed at the free throw line. And what you do is with your inside foot, so if I'm driving right, my inside foot is my left. I step once, and I take that one dribble. Now from here, I have two steps to get to the net and finish with the layup. I'm going to make sure when you finish with that layup, you're decently close to the net. You don't want to be taking floaters or jump shots from way back here. Now, if you're shorter or smaller or younger or something, you can move the cone closer. Just make sure that when you're doing this drill, you're giving yourself a challenge. You don't want this to be easy because then you're not doing anything. But anyways, with all that said, this is what the drill looks like. It sound right, boy. So with this drill, you want to make sure that you're doing your layups high off the backboard. You want to make sure that they're going in. And also, you want to make sure that you're doing the drill on both the right side and the left side. So now we're moving in to drill number four. And drill number four is pump fake pull-ups or jab pull-ups. Now in basketball, you want to make sure that you have a wide arsenal of moves. You can do any move at any time. And the best moves to start out with that always work are fakes. The pump fake and the jab. And this drill helps you master those fakes along with get better at shooting. And the drill looks like this. Sound white boy. Fake, fake, 
So now with this drill, you want to make sure that your pump fakes and your jabs are actually realistic and could be done in a game because when you do this, you want to make sure you're not going like this in the drill because then you're not actually practicing anything. And also with the shots, you want to make more than 50% of them. So like everyone you miss, you want to make two, something like that. And last but not least, drill number five, which is defensive slides. Now there's a very popular saying out there, and that's that defense wins championships. And to get good at anything, you gotta practice it. And this is a great drill to help you practice defense. Now, when you're on defense, you always are one step behind the offense because the offense knows what they're gonna do, you don't. So you have to get good at reading the offense and moving after them. And this drill helps that lateral movement to help you get better at defense. That's a lot but this is what the drill looks like in full speed. And that's gonna do it for today's video, everybody. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe with the bell on because more videos just like this one are coming out soon. And with all that said, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. And also, Thank you.